After recovering from your battle with the undead commander, you continue to follow the faint sounds of rambling further into the ruins, through a baffling set of mechanical doors and eventually come into the source of the haunting sound. There you were confronted by a madman dubbed the Prophet who shared with you his visions of the future hell that awaits us all. Sadly, Dismas was lost to the lunatic's persistent prognostication like many before him. The session ended with Baramaham walking away from a locked iron gate which led even deeper underground. That's where you are. Walking away from? Walking away, saying, no, that's it, I'm done. Game over. I'm going That's, home. That yeah. does sound a lot like me. I've got to be honest. I can't deny yeah. it. Um, I was there. Yes. Well, perhaps with a little bit of uh, with a little bit jiggery bogery, we can uh, we can unlock this door now. What do you reckon? What do you say? Uh, with a jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> oh, are you it's looking at what are you doing to it? You uh, having a shake of it? Is there it's a an old is it jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. All right, you, it's it's an old, really, really, really old. Wait, just because uh, stuff's old doesn't mean it doesn't jiggle. Oh no, this is all rusted, and it, it does jiggle a little bit, and it seems weak. It seems like a weak old gate. It seems like a Monday oh. to Friday, mate. I say. With your extra buffiness, do you believe that you could poke your finger through this door, uh, Reinhold, or would, uh, or, or shall I try one of my new tricks? Uh, let, let's see what you've got there, Bar. Oh, jolly good show. Let's see, what did I give myself? Oh, I'm going to be intrigued. Hmm. I'm just going to go, see what new stuff I gave myself, because I've pretty much made myself a... Um, Yes. Now, now, see, this is the interesting thing because I gave myself Thunderwaves, but as the Eldritch Knight. But that doesn't mean that I have to cast it as an Eldritch Knight. I can cast it as a Bard. <laughs> as I clear my throat. You want us to step back? Ah, do you know what? I do believe you should. <clears throat> Let's go, Reynold. We need to go step behind a bit. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Any uh, luck? Even you are, Bar. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm running through some. He seems the... to be laughing to himself. What's... Yes, no, he's trying to suck himself out. <laughs> suck himself up. No, no, no! What? Don't you worry. And uh, I've got. I'm un unlike my previous characters who used to scream. This this is not going to be screaming. It's going to be singing. Because I want to use the spell to open the door. You see. <laughs> open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. <laughs> Open the door, get on the floor, everybody kill the dinosaur! The bloody hell's a dinosaur. There are T Rexes in D&D, &D. I've got two of them. Oh! The door's open! Yeah. <laughs> you haven't been around here. Get on the floor, everybody kill the dinosaur! You hear your voice echo back to you. And it, it tells says you another bar. It, it it tells you the size of this area. It's that's even below very you. big. You can only see the steps. There's nothing either side. They're sort of freestanding stone steps that descend into the darkness. And there's the ceiling of the tunnel. It just sort of it. it continues at the same level so you go further down into this big open area and oh, I'll go light another torch 
so you light a torch and you get to the bottom step and you step into stone more more of a natural ground underfoot and it's it's quite dirty and and like there's a lot of rubble around um as you you walk a few steps forward and there seems to be some sort of pillar support and as you look up it sort of arches over uh, across the ceiling this place is just around you is just darkness around your, your light apart from that that oh no i know a trick i know a trick ready <laughs> light You do. What, what? Okay, what are you casting it on? Uh, well, I might as well cast it on my Holy Avenger. Mm. Yeah, so we've got a torch and you've got light on your Holy Avenger. It's still, it's just, it's a huge open area. It's just telling that it's a massive open area. The fact that your light does not penetrate any further. Aha, <laughs> penetration. Hmm. Um. Give us a perception roll. Ooh, perception. I'm just running through some stuff. I can, you know, still got that. Still got that. I said, I ah, see, I didn't choose Paladin. Paladin. I got a five. Oh. Perception. Perception. Starting off well. Oh, that was pretty good. 17 on my new glittery dice. Well, you're just sort of looking around because this area is just it's just ground and the pillar next to you. So then anything else is is clear to you. So both of you notice on the floor that there is an old tinder box on the floor. Um, there's also a broken spade which is sort of half leaned up against the pillar and next to it is an empty water skin. Interesting. Tinderbox. Broken spade. Water skin. And an empty water skin. Yes, well, it's, it, I take it as empty. Yes, it's an empty water skin. So this man, he tried to dig, broke his spade, got very thirsty, and uh, attempted to light the fire. Did he use the other half of the spade to try and light the fire? Is that is that what I'm looking at? I don't know. Well, you look at the, the items and they're much newer compared to their surroundings. Well, fuck me then. And they just sort of look out of place, like why would that kind of stuff be down here? Yes. Would that be... Oh, what's his name again? You know, the one that's been squished. Or could this have belonged to Dismas? Nasty, yeah. nasty geezer. Yes, I remember that dismass fellow. So, took a liking to pancakes. Uh, was your flatmate one see Rhino? <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Please Do spare me, Bob. Sorry. Do you mean flapjacks? Oh, no. Poor dismass. No, it wasn't Paul Dismas useless. Oh. He was a useless piece of shite anyway. Didn't even know how to use his gun. And I'll pull his pistol out and just squeeze the trigger. See? Well, he was fine in battle with me. Pew, Many pew. a time. Pew, 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 pew. Nothing happened. Is he raising the bullets? No, I'm, I'm standing there going, pew, 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 pew. pew, pew. Oh, Please show pew. some respect. I am, by showing her how to use his gun properly. Pew pew! Why on earth would you steal a man's gun? I did not steal it, I borrowed it to give it the respect it deserves by being used properly. <laughs> he should have been left with his such a weapon dick. of choice. His weapon of choice was, was, was his resting bitch face. <sighs> scared me more than anything he ever done with his gun. <laughs> I am uh, I'm going to take a moment and meditate if you don't mind very well I'll just walk off into the distance if that's what you want I'll to do into the dark. 
<laughs> do, you, do you follow uh, Bramahan? Hello, darkness, Go my on. old friend. I'll just, try and keep. It's just the voice is just echoing back. You're gonna try and stay with him. Come on, I will give till the end. It's getting I'll give the torch to Raynor so he can here. have something to see. I'll try and catch up to Barbavi's line. Okay. If we get out of here, I'll buy you a beer. Raynor is a bit spooked by the fact that you're just leaving him, so he stops his meditation and runs to catch up. Stuck in the dark. And I wish that I was out. I thought you wanted to meditate. Oh, I, 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 I believe we're, we're better together. Uh, in, well, you know, we'll be well, well, we'll be able to protect. Uh, 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 never mind. Thought you'd say it my way. Well done. Congratulations. Now. What can I see in front of me now? Is it literally just a huge, massive area? You're just walking, and the steps behind you have disappeared into the darkness. Marvellous. And, now and as, dark. as you walk, you're, you're passing more pillars, more supports, big stone pillars. Um, there's nothing, really. Um, give us a another perception, then. Really nothing I can fucking do to light this room, vile oh, bollocks. Well, it's fucking dark in here. Walking around with my eyes wide shut. I got a ten. Oh no, for me, Mr. Dim Dims. With a ten, you pass a pillar, and there is some kind of uh, gully next to it with, with a liquid in it, which seems to run off to the next one. It's it's been placed there deliberately. There's, there's sort of like it's like a stone gully within the ground. There is some deliberate liquid in here. It's about <laughs> five inches wide. Mmm, yummy. My mother used to tell me that five inches could go a long way. My father was not so lucky. <laughs> I appreciate the whole story. Not a problem. I've got plenty more. Remember, oh, sure. I bet you do. I've got a stepfather now. <laughs> got more stories about the stepfather. Don't you worry. So, I've got a pillar. The pillar's got water running down it. Five inches of water, in fact. Or it's liquid. It's just liquid. I'm tempted to find out what the liquid is, but I don't really want to taste it. Reinhold! Are you thirsty? I'm quite... Quite all right, thank you. Yeah, and I, I'm quite tempted to, char to cast Charm Person and make him do it anyway, but I won't, because that's almost evil. And I'm definitely not evil. Confused, but not evil. Does it have a scent? No. No, we've got silver and gold pieces. Don't be silly. It, um, yeah, it smells like oil. Ooh, ooh. I know. Light it. No. Yes. Yes. If you want to go light. I saw this in one of my children's books. It was called National Treasure. And they lit the oil and it lit up the entire room. Or blows the fuck out of them. What do you reckon? Do you, uh, do you want to go test that theory? Yes. Go do what you... Go follow your gut. <sighs> Um, yes, I will. Now, I don't have any fun way of casting fire, except for Firebolt. <laughs> I think Firebolt... Well, might... you got Reynold with, with my torch. I think Firebolt might just be a little bit too... Uh, thingy, but... Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I stick some... Uh, can I stick some... Um... Uh, uh, flavor on this, yeah. Cool, color cantrips coming up then. So, I'm gonna use sort of half power cantrips. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a minor illusion of giving myself like a little, um, a little, a little, because uh, it's gonna be little, so I'm gonna go with like a little mandolin, 
right? Of minor illusion, little mandolin. So I'm going to pretend to play the mandolin. And while I'm pretending to play the mandolin with a flick of my thumb, I'm going to do Firebolt. <laughs> oh, nice. I like it. Uh, it's... <laughs> what is, what, one's, what, what, one's bard, one's paladin. So it's... Um, I'm just going to be going... This oil's on fire! <laughs> God. As you continue to sing and it echoes back at you, the whole area around you starts to light up as the oil catches fire and continues to stay on fire and spreads from point to point along these gullies. But this place is huge. I mean, the flames continue through gullies out of your your uh, range of sight. Yeah, so you can't see. It's almost like a low mist is is in this place, and there's just pillars, and it's just a huge open area with pillars everywhere. And now these gullies are, are lit up. There's no, you can't see a wall apart from as you turn around behind you, you've got like a stone wall with the steps which are carved out of the stone, which go back up into the castle chapel and that's it you you don't know which... there are advantages to being well educated that was good see my father used to read me books what did your father do with you not saying that's a bad thing he might have abandoned you in a box underneath a pool table who knows but now the the area is lit um so it's not completely bright it's like a low light really um, Better than no can, light. You can see quite far into this sort of cavernous area. What it does identify to you are some disturbances in the ground just up ahead. Um, just slight, slight differences in the ground because for the most part it, it's flat, right, with sort of loose dirt and stuff all on the ground. Mm. But there's a slight disturbance just up ahead and you notice it as the, the light sort of uh, reflects off of it. Well, there's, this, there's a disturbance on the floor. Very, very subtle. You notice a slight difference in the ground. Well, um, only, one, only one thing to do, isn't there? Uh, Reinhold, take the lead. Of course. Re Reinhold heads up front. Yes. And approaches this area and says, oh, what? Whatever oh, you do, don't lick it. What, what am I looking for here? Well, I what? Done disturbance. I'm walking with him, it's fine. What? Making sure he's in front. Hmm. What is the floor? Well, if you're right next to him, you can see it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, sorry, I'm, just, I'm, I'm making sure he's in front of me. So you can see where the ground has been worn away slightly uh, and more of the, the loose ground has been like, almost like pushed to the sides, like as in pushed aparted in a way. Um, and it's almost like it's creating a pathway. It looks like part of a pathway or a heavily traveled area of this ground. If you want to give me an insight. No, not really. Well, I'm, I'm still awake. My eyes are shut, but I'm still awake. 15. Mm, okay, that's what you need. So looking down 17 at this... 17 plus 4. Oh, yeah, you both, you both look at this and it, it's clear to you that this is a heavily used... It is a heavily used pathway and it seems to go far off to the left it sort of crosses your path directly and then goes far off to the right and there's nothing either side which would tell you what is in those directions would i investigate the path uh to see if there's any footprints to see which way the feet are facing like or whether they're facing left or more whether they're facing right yeah there's no footprints at all it's just where the it's just where the ground the dirt the loose dirt has been pushed apart if it's well travelled, what the fuck is well travelling in it? 
I think there's a worm. <laughs> because it's a big ass worm. Well, underneath underneath the immediate sort of layer of dirt. Am I, am I am talking. It was done. <laughs> <laughs> there is um. It's basically sort of like solid stone underneath. Uh, so it's a well-travelled path, but no mm. footprints. There's n there's no footprints. You wouldn't see footprints anyway. In oh, reality, no. you'd only see footprints in sort of really soft mud. Yeah, but if we're down low, there's going to be dust. There is dust, but not enough to make footprints out. No, okay. no. Well. Left or right? Let's flip a coin. Yeah, well, nice. that's going to work. Heads <laughs> we go left, tails we go right. Ready? Yep. Call it. Heads. Well, it doesn't matter because heads is left. Heads we go left. All right. Because what's funny about this is that it's a double-headed coin. <laughs> yeah. The DM remembers this. <laughs> I'm such a dickhead. It's fine. Left. All right. Love you, Ray. Don't hate me. I won't. My character will. Cool. So you no, are going to follow this path left. Sure. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh no. Right. Ow, nowhere. This appears. Yes. No. So you follow it and you're right. It, it's a well travelled path. It's it's well travelled and you can see where it's just been carved through this low level of dirt. But it goes on for a long, long way. And there's still the the gullies of oil lighting the area, but it's still it's huge. It seems to go on forever. Give us a, a perception roll. Eighteen. Did you get bar? Six. Hmm. You keep walking. And you get quite thirsty at this point. So you have a quick sip out of your Star Wars mug. <laughs> exactly. And you're starting to almost doubt your, your decision. As you continue going, an hour passes. Oh no, I wouldn't have walked for an hour in the direction and seen nothing. I'm not that fucking stupid. Oh, an hour's passed now. Oh man, my intelligence, my intelligence is 18. I would not have walked for an hour in one direction. So an hour has passed. But... 20 minutes. All right, okay. I'll... Right. <laughs> right. I'll meet you halfway, half an hour, right? So right. you've been walking for half an hour. And you've not noticed anything at this point. It gives another perception. Perception roll. Perception roll on my own intelligence. Fifteen. Fifteen. Hmm. So you do see some mining equipment just to the right of you. There's a an old crate covered in dust with a pickaxe pickax leaning up against it and a hessian bag empty just on top of it. Nothing special. You gonna continue walking? No, yeah, like the last person I knew with a pickaxe was some twatty dwarf with bald head. I didn't really uh... I don't recall him working for you. <laughs> I'll take the pickaxe. Actually, do you know what? He didn't. Mm. He no. needs to. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, anyway. Are you take the pickaxe? 
Yeah, yeah, I'll use a pickaxe in that. All right. Yeah, yeah, cool. So it's um, it's just an old pickaxe. So yeah, yeah. you got that. Just use it as a, as ammo. Yeah. <laughs> ammo for the heavy sling. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Fire anchor. Jeez, Roll a D one hundred uh, damage. Well, D well, D well, D one hundred. That's See, even we'll voltage, go with that, which end you get? Is yeah, yeah. or slashing? We'll go with that, actually. If you choose to use it with the heavy sling, roll a D100 for damage. Let's see what happens. Really? Yeah. My friend Gravel, we seem to have reached nothing. Do we continue walking in this direction, or do we turn around and waste our fucking time and walk back in the other direction? The DM doesn't seem to be offering us anything to take us in the direction or in the other direction. So it's a guessing game. I tell you what, we'll flip on it. Heads, we continue going left. Tails, we go right. Don't you have a double-headed coin? No, 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 no. It's a normal-headed coin. Look. And I pull out a gold head gold. So you do that. So you do nothing, nothing. <laughs> the normal coin. Inside. <laughs> well, I'll see if he's going to bullshit me. Uh, 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 it's it's in, inside. In, the coin I'm holding up and showing you has a head and a tail, two separate. Yeah, but are you just showing me that for just for sake and then switch it back out to the double headed? So you, your insight in the coin I'm showing you, I'm showing you a double headed coin. Well, roll oh, well, up. I'm inciting <laughs> you to see if you're bullshitting. What did you get on your inside? I got a 14 on my inside. Oh, oh right. let's go for some deception. Yeah. This one, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite good at this shit. Oh! 17. All right, so I believe you're bullshit. <laughs> it's fine. And as I take, uh, I'm going to take the coin, put it back in my hand, and, and now I'm going to do a slight hand and swap it for the double headed. Yeah. The slight of hand was 15. Give us a perception. Gravel. It's got to be with disadvantage because he believes me. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fuck over my own teammates. <laughs> it's happened a few times. Three. No, I don't see yeah, shit. No. <laughs> Where we go? <laughs> I mean, Two twos. you don't fully believe him. I know you failed, you failed on your, your insight, but it's not a lie detector. So, you know, you're still suspicious, but there's nothing to say that he's he's pulling no the wool. Proof. Yeah. Oh, Pow. Oh, oh, he's just being a bit of a dick. Um, hey, Reinhold, you sound like you're being a bit quiet in a minute. That's not his voice at all, is it? Yes, that's better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, Reinhold, you're being very quiet. What do you think? Do you think we can to continue going this way, where all the mining equipment seems to be showing up, or do you reckon we should just turn around and head back the other way? I start to sound like I'm very drunk. Well, I'm, I'm here to accompany you. Thank and... you very much. That was fucking useless. Come, grab I... a <laughs> But what I understand is there is an excavation that Lord Aurelius was looking for. And I believe this is excavation equip equipment. Is it Congratulations! Not? You're not completely useless. Dismissed. Yes. You're taking his place very well. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. Take this silver piece uh, in, in reward. Yes, flick. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very uh, much. Very yes, kind of you. I like you. I'll be watching the flank. You'll be watching my what? Don't you the flank. Don't you look, yeah, at, look at your... I'll <laughs> have the rear. Not having my rear. Cost extra. I so, have the rear. Ah. My mother always told me if they wanted the rear, it cost extra. That so, as, as we have reached the, uh, the possibility of the... Uh, the excavation equipment, I say we are going in the right direction, Mr. Gravel. Yes? Seems that way. Excellent. 
and just sort of <whistles> flicking the coin up and down the <laughs> just walking along. Okay, so you continue walking. Play me grass. <laughs> Roll me a perception again. Again? Yeah. Uh, still 14. Um, that's a unnatural 20. My butler's a unna- Unnatural 20. Yeah, unnatural 20. My butler's a drown. You, um, as you're walking, you notice something of interest just off of the track. A small metal box locked the type that would be used to keep jewelry in now I'd, I'd hold on <laughs> um bar yes I, I just saw something no not a problem i would i will continue uh, serenading while you uh it's fine go up to it and see if it's you know if we're stuck or if we can easily pick it pick it up yeah oh. roll an investigation on the box um, that's 17 you can see that this is what they would call a strong box fully metal and it is locked as you try to open it mm-hmm. but is it am I able to go bring it to the, to the team or is it yeah you can lift it up you know bring it to the others to see if they can either unlock it Hmm. Have any of you got thieves tools? No. But I could try something else. Is it a magical box? It's well, roll me an arcana. Oh fuck! Oh, I'm sure right, arcana. Yeah, eighteen. Mm. It's not magical in any way. I cast reduce on the lock. The lock, nice. the lock is within the body of the actual. Yeah, but if 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 the if the locking mechanism inside is shrunk, then it will go. Oh, great! And it clicks open. There you go. See? Thinking outside the box. <laughs> That's... Actually, thinking inside the box. Is it <laughs> outside to help the inside? One more of those. It's an oxymoron. One more of those moments, and you'll get another inspiration. I'll use use the one card. Yeah. (laughs) All right, so it it opens up, and um, inside is a book. Ooh. Can I read it? It has. It has a, a lock on the book, but it's not locked. It would have like the latch of it, right? Um, and it has like, a depiction of a person, a person's head, very simple, simply drawn on the front in the leather, and sort of a, a bright light focusing on the mind. It's like showing light rays coming from the mind. And it says on the front, sanity. In, in, in common? Common, yeah. Oh, okay. Sanity. Book of sanity. Book of sanity. Interesting. Doesn't really suit for a <laughs> Um Does it 
think it's safe to say that he is about as insane as they get. He's a child in a boy's body. The child, child in a man's body. You mean. Um. I say, for the word sanity, I do believe it fits me quite well. I'm sane. Don't you think so? Yes, I believe so too. Right now, it's just <laughs> second guessing. Like, Absolutely, positively, yes. Marvellous. Would you oh. mind if I had a peruse through this book first? Yeah, go ahead. Bye. Thank you, dear boy. You look through it, and there are. There's just. It's basically meditation techniques and coping techniques for stressful situations. Ew, marvelous. Fantastic. And with my ability to sing songs of such a calming nature. You can give me an art. Do an arcana check on it if you want. Open your mind. Open your mind. I don't want to. Evil gets in. Would you want to do an arcana check? If you want, it's up to you. Sure, why not? Uh, 13, 17. This is a magical book. It's a magic book! One ah. that you can attune to. Well. And it will give you a minus two stress to every stress taken with no negatives. Good. Because oh, wow. I've, I've already got something that gives me a plus one stress. So if I attune to that, then I will be a minus one stress. That would be a bit better. Because I, I've, I've got my Baramahan's magic tentacle. I've got it written down in front of me. <laughs> the tentacle candle, yeah. Tentacle candle, no, burnt your pants. The book and the sword, right? What book? So you got that book? What book? I don't know, you just (laughs) just claimed it. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Yeah, well, it's fighting. You chose to keep this book of sanity. I'm fighting. Well, I'm fighting against the fact I'm already a minus one. Right? Oh, no. Oh, minus one. What's your stress relief? Mm hmm. I got a plus one. I got a plus one um, on stress due to one of the artifacts. But I got an artifact that gives me 50% stress relief. Yeah. And advantage on wisdom saving throws. Yeah, you've got the trophy, haven't you? The the profits trophy. You've already got stress relief. I'm not trying to claim that I want it. I'm just trying to come up with a way. I could get rid of that plus one. <laughs> All right. So, you, if you take Easy. that book, you've um, give it to someone else. You need to attune to it, though. Yeah, it's fine. I, I will attune to it. I've got the book of sanity. Which is a, which is which is a minus two stress. Lovely. Fancy dappy times. Well, yes. I mean, I, I will say, and I, I, I sort of, I, I sort of look at gravel dead in the eyes and go, "Can you read?" <laughs> in what way do you mean? I take that as a no, Jolligan. Get- I do read, but I don't know what you mean by "can you read." Well, this is a word. Can you it's read? It's a sanity. Excellent! Marvellous. Fantastic, the education system around here, isn't it? Did I ever tell you about... Did I ever tell you about my English teacher? Now, (laughs) Can we do this while walking? Sure, why not? So, while... while, (laughs) (laughs) Right, okay. My English teacher, right? He once told me that he had sex with my auntie Vera. Okay. While he was doing it, she made him read the Kama Sutra while they were doing it. He got up to page thirty-six before he had a heart attack. Oh no, poor fucker! 
Disgusting. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing you don't know about Karma Sutra. I've, I've never heard of such a thing. Don't worry, I carry a copy of it with <laughs> Yes! Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just go, oh, dear God. Yes, no, I do. I carry a copy of it with me. Just in case. Hold on, look. No! I put it down somewhere. <laughs> Don't tell me it was in your... Your briefcase that got nicked. Oh, no! That bastard made off with all of my money, all of my jewels, and my Kama Sutra! Fuck you, DM! Oh. <laughs> Thank God for that. Um, you I'll keep... buy another one when we get to the... The next shop we go to, I will buy another copy of the Kama Sutra. And it'll be different this time, because it won't be the kind that I had. It'll be a different species. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake. Yeah. Hmm. I, want to they, buy the, I want to buy the Karma Sutra from the Dragonborns. Yeah. I knew that was going. You, you keep... definitely are bad. <laughs> right. So you continue walking, uneventful, but more of this mining equipment is popping up every now and again. Left I'll be right. just picking up pickaxes. Yeah, just. just pick, spat- yeah. I mean, they're pretty as big. As much as I can count. So, yeah, you can probably carry about two at the most. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, these, these are like full-blown weapons, isn't they, effectively? Yeah, yeah. Not really. Gravel's going gravel's gonna to be a flipping... <laughs> <laughs> Dual wielding pickaxes. pickaxes, yeah. And um, eventually, you, what comes into light is a, a small structure wooden you can't really tell what it is it doesn't look like a building uh, anything recognizable at all but as you get closer what you see is a lot of wooden supports and a big hole in the ground and excavation equipment everywhere even a couple of tents which are sort of half collapsed ruined and in the middle of this hole, the what spans the hole is timbers, some metal mechanical equipment with ropes and sort of pulley systems around the place, right? And it looks like there is, so there is a lever in the ground which is joined to some of these these mechanical sort of pulley systems which are just on the edge of the hull mm. and what seems to be suspended is some kind of lift just halfway seems like mm, a little way down the hole there's this... a big hole and there's there, there's a, an old rudimentary lift system that takes us down into the mines. Yeah, so this the actual lift is not on at the top. It's halfway down. From what you can see, you can just see the top of it. You don't know if it's halfway down, but it's the best way to explain it. There's no other way to get past this hole. No, so around this hole, it's You've actually come to the edge uh, and there's a wall, sort of not a wall, um, like a stone, a natural stone wall. So you've come to one side of this huge underground area. we got a lift. Mm-hmm. Do we want to go down in the lift? That's you want to go all down? Do we want to go down in the lift? I'll be completely honest with you. I agree, I don't want to go down. So the what, track ends here. What What were we supposed to do in this thing? We, we had to kill all of the... Uh, kill, kill all of the uh, altars, which is the three, which we've done. What was the name bad guy in there? I can't fucking remember why I'm in here. 
History check. <laughs> All right, history check. So, the ancestor. Hang on a minute. Let me get up. Like a proper. It was my blasty job. I don't bloody remember. All yeah, so the you, people died. I'm stressed. You were employed to do a one of many jobs which he required completing but yours seems to have led you even further and had more of an impact than what was originally expected and it seems to go further and lead you on to more connecting clues to the bigger puzzle which is where is the portal that the ancestor unearthed in the first place. Oh, bollocks. Now all these things that you've been experiencing, all the experiencing, all these enemies um, in the wheel as well are a result of this ancient portal dimension which is buried deep beneath the manor now you're in the ruins but you've travelled a long way you could be anywhere now well our, our only choice is we go we attempt to go down in this lift or we spend fucking hours walking all the way the other way now you're hungry now no, not really. Feeling tired, yes you are. No, I feel alright. <laughs> and thirsty, more so. Yeah, no, I'm doing okay. <laughs> Honestly, it's alright, I just had a cup of coffee, we're all good. <laughs> you are, you're hanging out, you're uh, you're in trouble. No, I'm really not. I've got you're a about to collapse. I've got, a nice, I've got a nice new computer chair. <laughs> yeah, I'm all comfortable. Yeah, it's all good. I can spin now. Yeah. Uh, all right. So yeah, that's what that's that's where you are. And that is the, the oh, thing is I, right. Ramaham wouldn't know this. Wouldn't know. Fuck off. About, no. about the portal. He was just he turned up with his with his his crew okay. and he he was like right what do you want me to sort out and this guy was like right go and sort this out and then you all died and you came back and then you went back with another crew so you wouldn't know the bigger picture whereas gravel has been there from the very very beginning the first lot of adventurers to turn up in the region with well, don't, don't get it wrong. i know which is why i'm offering to go back there was fucking one hmm. so kenneth had the note and it was ex explained to you at some point I can't remember who explained to you that there is a, a a darkness oh yeah that'll be kind of telling me when I first when mm. I came because that's a different character when I first started yeah and then you went up to the manor to find an excavation site and you found one but it didn't lead you where you wanted it to go mm-hmm or where you expected it to go. Uh, Gravel, are you telling me that we've got to go deeper underground? That's what Kenneth been telling me. Fair enough. But as he ain't here, and we're running out of supplies, I think the safe bet is actually head back. Personally speaking. No, I think Reinhold started to look very tasty. What? I'd rather not try to eat. Be, become a cannibal. All right, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Maybe. Hello, Maurice. <laughs> Clarice. Hello, Clarice. That's the one. I don't know why I'd say Maurice. Maurice, <laughs> well, you know, his name's Ryan Old is a man, at least, I suppose. 
Do you dream about lambs, Reinhold? What are we doing here? Well, I do believe your eyes must be better than mine. Go and have a look down that deep hole. Reynold goes over and looks over the edge. He's like, I can't see anything. Pass me a torch. You got one. I did one out. It's it's burnt out. I will give him another torch. Thank you. And uh, he like waves it around down the tunnel. He can't see anything. And then he releases it, lets it fall. You're paying for that. And he goes. <laughs> And it goes, he, he can basically discern that it, it falls about 100 feet. Well, that's not far, don't you? Well, uh, no, did you really? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them desperately. <laughs> like, no. I hope you did it. <laughs> did you push my did NPC? Did you really? <laughs> did you push mine on? Reynold falls to his death. No, he. <laughs> so <No>. can dick move. <laughs> can I? I want to go and do this. Save your life. He, uh... <laughs> yeah. Um, can I see the mechanism for the dumb way up? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a dick move. I didn't so, do anything. Um, yeah. You you can see that this lift is counterbalanced by nets holding large stones. Okay. And it's it's pretty open, it's sort of like a, a crank system where yeah it would use this counterbalance stones to i'll tell you where the fucking crank is in a minute um so there's a crank system it's all working on bags of stones can we pull can we get the lift to come up because you said it it, it's down below us so can we get it to come up Mm. yeah you can try what are you gonna do I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't, I don't really. Do you, oh, do you know what? Fuck it. Then. Oh, this kind of reminds me of the Dunwich that we used to have back at the uh, back at the castle. Yes, the uh, the, the 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 butlers and the cooks would uh, use it to bring our dinner up to the uh, the main the main hall to uh, serve us food. It was very good. It was very rudimentary. Not quite as large as this, but worked on a similar mechanism. Oh, yes, I, I think I had the same thing. Shut up, you pons. <laughs> Don't show off. <laughs> but I never right. had any of that material stuff. No material stuff, but you're wearing clothes. Must have been made out of material, surely. Yes, I know that below the belt. But yes, can we have a look and see if we can get this to work? Then? So there's a lever there. I pull the lever! I pull down the pothole. Wrong lever! <laughs> you, you, you pull the lever, right? And um, then everything sort of suddenly moves and loads of dust yep. just sort of shakes off of it and it starts slowly coming up to where you are. Hasn't been moved for a fucking long time. Going back the other way. Come on! <laughs> and it comes up and stops level with what looks like an obvious area where you would board it. Anything, anything on it? Nothing. Just plain. So loads of dust came off of the mechanism when we turned it on. That must mean that the mechanism ain't been touched for ages. So unless these things can fucking fly, nothing's coming up through that hole. Seems that way. Right. That's that. That's that. That's that's my that's that's my logic reading into the story. Going by DM's description. Oh, is your is your is your description accurate, DM? Yeah. Cool. 
So does that mean that the portal is not down there because this lift has not moved for an extraordinarily long time? I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to Pebbles. Come on, Bam Bam, where you got? You've been playing this one longer than me. Mm -hmm. I know I've been playing it longer. You know how much of a dick Dan is, so... <laughs> would, Dan, would Dan offer this as false information so that we can leave it behind? Or should I just push Ryan off down and see what happens? <laughs> so it looks like it hasn't been used for a long time. Do you know how long um, the darkness has been around the, in this town? Does it match up to how long this hasn't been used for? Oh, fucking hell. Right. Uh, <laughs> give us... Yeah, I'm going to Hey, oh, fuck you, well. the DM. Uh, no, no, no. Because I mean, how would you, how would you even relate that to the age of something? You'd have to be really, really good. Give me an insight. Well, I mean, Baramaham, Baramaham is a well-learned uh, fellow, but I mean, you know, he doesn't know anything. He's waiting for the other guys to tell him what's what. what, what. Yeah, I mean, the darkness was around before you even arrived, anyway, and you know that much. Can I carbonate the dust that sort of came off of the thing? As if to say, no, that must have been sitting there for <laughs> I don't know. Can you carbonate the dust? Well, I, um, I got a 17 plus 4 on my inside. You can't you can't 20. match up you can't match up the time timelines. It's it's old. This thing is old. It's not it's not ridiculously old. But it's been sitting here for a good few years. Right, so I ain't moved for years. That, that, that's all I was after. Years of dust popped off of that when I poured that lever. 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 Not Mary. Right. But it's it, 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 not fun. Lever's much more fun. Exactly. Lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. lever. Quunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, he probably did. Dan doesn't even know what we're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Man, you need to watch Emperor. You did not have a childhood. What are you talking about? What is it? The Emperor's Groom. The DM. It's a, uh, it's a Disney film. Never seen you got, it. You got a child. Watch some fucking Disney. Wow. Oh, uh. Despicable. <laughs> I was working with a 20 year old with more knowledge than you. <laughs> On Disney films. Right. <laughs> Do not no. mind Disney. <laughs> There's certain. I don't believe certain going stuff. down here is going to suit us any which way but close. And so that nothing can use this fucking thing again, chop. You chop the, the rope. Shall I? Let's wait. Oh, until the other team, because we can. If we have still have nothing, we got that as a possible lead. Oh, hurry, hurry up! My stomach is rumbling like a grizzly bear after hibernation. Well, just, let's just leave it, and we can go back to it in future. Oh, jolly good show! I used the lever and sort of put it back to where it was, sort of halfway down. All right, yeah. And that's it. There's nothing else happens. It goes back to where it was. How you said slowly? How slowly? Um, every sort of it takes about one second to move one foot. Well, that's not terrible. So you don't. You're talking a minute and a half to go all the way down because we've estimated it about a hundred feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Tell you what. Go on then, Gravel. You control the lever. I'll get on the platform. Okay. 
Reinhold, you're coming with me. <sighs> Perhaps I should stay here. No, shut the fuck up. Come with me. <laughs> Don't be a pussy. No, boss. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm coming, yeah. yeah. As soon as we see something that even remotely makes us shit ourselves, we'll shout up to the big bastard and go, Help, you stupid piece of shit! And then he'll pull us back up again. It's not a problem. I've got message, remember? Why is it 120 feet? Oh, wh whatever you say. Yes. Yeah. Mm. yes. Is everyone ready? No. <laughs> As you step on, you hear oh, creaking of the of the wooden planks which make up the floor of this. I cast lid. mending! They're not broken. <laughs> they are creaking and straining under the weight of your armour. Well, so they should. I'm fucking heavy. And Reynold walks on as well, who is in full plate armour. Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! <laughs> And he turns and dives to the ground and goes, what? Fuck it, I'll go down myself. Just... You can't happening? handle both of you in heavy plate. <laughs> Are you ready? Where's my ranger or my rogue or the guys that only wear fucking leather when you need them? Two fully heavily armoured guys. Well, Kenneth, gone. <laughs> <laughs> so you pull it and it just slowly starts to descend into this hole clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> and it's it's going fine it's going it? fine yeah I'm going deeper Bang! And a day is gone. It's a ghost in a We'll find out what's at the bottom after this short break. No! The other one. You slowly okay. descend to the bottom of this hole and the lift stops. Kicks up a little bit of dust. You look around at your surroundings and there's just excavation equipment strewn about all over the place there is a tunnel directly in front of you which seems to bend round to the left quite a large tunnel excavated in the stone and dirt I have a tunnel shall I go in it what do you think not alone. Mm. It opens um, out a little bit as you get to the bottom of the hole. Because obviously they've had to dig it out if it's a big operation and put a lot of equipment down there. As the lift is a bit of a bottom. If you right now I'll bring Reynold. Yeah, but oh man, you're talking like 90 seconds of me waiting down in the bottom of a dark fucking hole, not moving, and we know. You've got a light. Yes, but with no escape. That's 90 seconds of me standing there fighting whatever the fuck comes down. That is 15 turns <laughs> of me fighting whatever the fuck's down right. there. Okay, right then. <laughs> if you cast haste on the lift, so it goes, whoo! <laughs> um, ha I can hold up to 500 pounds. Right. Right. What's um, <laughs> we haven't got 100 feet. We haven't got 100 feet of rope. Right. How much does Reynolds weigh? He doesn't weigh 500 pounds. So if I do, if I both me and him jump on the same disc and mm -hmm. hover down, yeah, will he be able to hold both mine and his weight? We'll find out. 
All right. Um, <laughs> I, kind of I will. All right. I'll spend a first level slot and do a floating disc of Earth. I will, in a weird way, hold on to Reynold as close as possible. We're not I, can, it I right. can just imagine Reynold on your back, kind of going, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Does that he falls? <laughs> so I need to focus on the actual Earth. You're trying to you're trying to keep your, the weight in the centre so that yeah. you don't lose your balance, and so you're hugging each other tight as this disc descends. Yeah, magneto shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you're fine. Good thinking. You go all the it way to the bottom. Fine trick that is there, young uh, young Bam Bam. Well done. You get to the bottom and Reynold just jumps off. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Reynold. And so you're all down at the bottom now. Yep. Yeah. But when you look around, so I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there's there's obviously excavation equipment, which I did mention, but there is another lever as well, which is attached to the mechanical system of the lift. No, yeah, I said that. Yeah, so it is. There, there's that as well. <laughs> Very good. Into the tunnel. Yeah. And as as we're down, it's kind of hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. I'm paid two bits to see your tits. Hi ho, hi ho. Echoing back at you. It's a short walk. A long pier. And eventually you come to the end of the tunnel and it opens up into a huge chamber of ancient stone and rock. It seems to be, as you look around, the lowest foundation of either the castle or the manor. Like I said, you don't know where you are. Lot of fucking glue. As you stand there, some hot air rushes past you with a deep howl. And towards the far end, atop a short but wide, perfectly straight set of steps, stands a gargantuan obsidian door, impressively engraved with what seems to be some kind of floating orb, sprouting tentacles like energy beams, whipping in a wildlike fashion. A thin line of red light ascends to the top of the cavern it pierces the darkness in front of you the door is open does the tentacle tentacle thing flashing about does it look like that beast that both me and Baramaham faced no so it's it's like a a plasma ball like the center of a plasma ball yeah yeah and then, like, electrical sort of... It's just a bowl with lots of shit coming out of it. And it's only carved into this door, anyway. Into an obsidian door. Into a an... Black, obs a black obsidian door. Black obsidian door. This door is huge. It's about 60 to 70 feet tall. And mm, I like to think what fucking comes out of that. Go on. Anything else around? Look around, it's just excavation equipment. Give me a perception roll. Would I, I say, would I be able to work out, you know when you say excavation equipment, mm. would I be able to work out, 18, would I be able to work out from the equipment what excavated this or who excavated this? They are tools used by humanoid creatures. Okay. Well, I was oh, sixteen. I asked. I, I only. I only asked if it was sort of one of those ones where it green dwarves. <laughs> you look around the area. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of storage, a lot of crates, a lot of barrels. Um, but there's one, one sort of chest 
that stands out. And it seems to have a plaque on it engraved with something. You can't see it, and it's close to the door. I don't want to go to the door. It's not up the steps. It's just in front of it. And it seems like, from what you can see, it, the it's slightly open. The chest is open. It's sort of like a flat top chest. Well, we've come this far. Hmm. Shall we? Let's. Excellent. I cast Minor Illusion, make it look like a rabbit and sort of just throw it out in front of us. No. <laughs> um, how far away is the chest from me currently? It's only about 20 feet. Oh, wow. I'm that close to the chest. Mm. Okay. This is a big open cavernous area. But you're not far from the chest. I'm going to try something really stupid now. Hello. The whole time this is going on, you can hear the rushing of air, the swirling of air, what sounds like when Gravel casts his um, dust, dust, devil. dust devil. It's that similar kind of sound and almost like wails and voices coming from behind this door. The light is shimmering. It's a demon door. I'm just going to hand on here, point at the, the the chest and go, are you a disgusting, revolting piece of furniture or are you uh, a sensible looking chest? You wait. Nothing happens. And you get nothing back. Uh, and I seem safe. Man, I'm a flick the top over. I'm oh, dead. No, 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 no. No, you, you feel a bite in your hand. <laughs> you open it, and there is a, a like a metal torch inside. Metal torch, like a handheld a brazier. Okay. And on it's the plaque, weird. it says "Talisman of the Flame." And inside, the straw which is protecting it from whatever transport. Um, there are two more indents in the shape of two more of these brassiere, like these handheld brassiers. So there was three of these. <laughs> Looking around the room, can I see anything else that resembles this brassiere, this, this bra that I've picked out from this box? It's talis talisman of flame. Hmm. Are there two more of them anyway? You can't see him, no. Mm. Arcana check on it? Yeah, sure, go for it. It's a mint fucks take seven. No, no, no. You can tell with a seven that it does have some kind of magical property. It's a magical brazier, just like the one my mother used to have using <laughs> Yes, because I'm, I'm saying it. I'm saying it wrong, clearly. <laughs> well, a brazier is this thing. That That's what I was thinking. What am I supposed to be saying then? I honestly don't know what you're trying to say. It's um, it's a candelabra, as far as I'm concerned. Candelabra then, or um, there's a thing I. Oh, it's an oil lantern. It's not an oil, not an oil lantern. There seems to be some kind of wick on it, though. Like an oil lantern. Um, a sconce. It's like that. Okay. I'll just probably take it and get when I next see um, John, give it to him. It might power up his flame. Me just presuming. John, John's not there. No, I'm saying I'm going to take it to when I next see John. Mm. See if that might help him feel better. Slash oh. help him out. Maybe he's flame. As you raise it, 
Reynold catches it at the corner of his eye. With a scum. <gasps> Definitely a scum. The talisman of the flame. Oh, Reynold, you are. You're, you're awake. Good. Glad you're with us. And he like flings open the box and he goes, Where are the others? Well, this is a good question. What others? If, if you know what it is, what the fuck does it do? The talisman of the flame. It purges all evil. Does the it? One, the one who carries it is said to be immune to all kinds of darkness, dark magic. You take that, Gravel. But there must be more. You cannot just have one. Is Whatever. Yeah. It's being here means that they must have needed it to enter whatever this place is. While he's finishing talking to up at the door going, Hello! Hello! <laughs> it's just a dull knot. There's no Hello! echo or anything. As you hit it, it's just like, oh, like it doesn't do anything. It's just a thick obsidian door and just absorbs your hits. But it's Hello. open. It's it's a jar. It's a jar. It's already open. What side do you? Yeah, it's like a double door. One side is open. Hello. I'm sorry, friends, but I refuse to go in without bearing a talisman of the flame. Well, fuck you then. Hello. You pop your head in, there's a lot of red mist. And you can't really see anything more than that. Right. Not useful. Should we go in or should we... Well, there's supposed to be three of these things. And I'm wondering if there's supposed to be three of these things. Because there's three of us. And the DM's trying to be nice to us. Because they're held against all evil. But the fact that there's only one in the box, and Reynold is like, oh, I ain't going in with that one, right? Because he's a bit of a pussy. So it's the choices are we search high and low to see if we can find the other two, or we just go headstrong into this door, all die, and we thank Dan for a wonderful campaign. <laughs> hmm. And we can't wait for him to write another one. <laughs> That won't be another one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, let's go have another look around to see if we can find two, two more. If not, I'll give Reynold the flame that we have so we have a bit more chance he was a pussy out about having not having one you tell him bam bam so without taking too much time we just go and search all the stuff in this area to see whether we can spot these other two things all right give us an investigation okay okay a 22 <laughs> two, 22 i got a 21 I lied. I lied. 19. Hmm. No, not about. If that's all you're looking for, there's nothing about. Well, we're looking. I mean, there's supposed to be three of these things. Which probably means that they're on dead bodies that are already beyond that door. Hmm. Does that sound logical? It does sound logical. Well, so, it's, it's completely up to you whether you want to give it to old Reggie. And uh, and we go in there, but Reggie's going fucking first. He's that's, he's well, that's a compromise, ain't it? If I give him the talisman. Fucking right it is. He goes, he goes in up front. You darn tootin' it is. You want it, you fucking going first. <laughs> Right. I feel much stronger with this talisman in hand. Oh fucking talking. And he he lights it up and whoosh, like red, powerful flame. 
more red than your conventional flame. And he walks in and disappears into the mist. Are you following him closely? Yeah, behind? of course. No, oh. fuck, get out the door and run. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you really gonna? Are we really gonna go do that? Well, he's a bit of a pussy, all isn't he? But I, I, gun, you're identifying. Let us go. I, he's much more useful than his so-called friend. He's very true. Well, you know what? He's more useful than his flatmate. Right? Yes, he's fine. Come, we, we, we follow him into the mist. Come back, 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 back. back. He comes back, and <clears throat> you walk in, and there's just. It's just mist everywhere. The only thing you can make out is is the ground. It's it's red, red mist, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold. On to, I'm gonna hold on to his tunic. Okay. So, I'll grab on to whatever bars there. Then. Okay, so you were holding on to each other. That's fine. <laughs> Walking along, you start to walk <laughs> on <sighs> stone slabs. Old. Oh, they look <laughs> ancient. Ancient. Yeah, After grandma had floor tiles like these, ancient they are, almost like her. Occasionally, you look, you look up and you can see high up above you, very very high, hundreds of feet above you, almost like a, a fleshy, fleshy type material pulsating. Ooh, it's alive! <laughs> it's what like is? The whole and fucking room is alive! Look! The wall's breathing. Out of the mist, directly in front of you, you see what looks like a body face down. Okay. And as you get closer, it is a body. Oh. And his hand is a talisman. That's yours, Grav. Are you sure you want me to grab it? Not. Yeah, no, it's all right. I'm, I'm considering myself the tough one out of the three. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm considering myself the tough one. I feel, I feel all right. It's okay. You, if he's got one in front and you got one behind, I'll be okay in the middle for the moment. Not a problem. It's fine. Are well, you sure? Yes, I'll go pick up this talisman. Allow me to sing a song. Of uh, of relaxation. Are you gonna light the talisman? If we have, if we have to, then yeah, I'll we'll go light it as well. All right. So this talisman reduces stress by eight points every time you take stress. Dude. Fuck you, Reggie. Stab Reggie in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the mist clears a little bit, and either side of you, you can see blackened sort of obsidian. I don't know how to explain it. Sort of like the. If we can get this obsidian, this obsidian out of here, we could be fucking rich. So you, it's like obsidian and like black metal making up the edge of something right either side of you about 10 feet either side of you you see chains linked onto it which ascend up and as you walk a little bit further there are black sort of metal skulls perched on top of certain spikes like halfway across from where you've walked and they're sort of peering down at you but they're just metal skulls from what you can tell I was just about to say hello to them hello and nothing give us a, a perception roll just randomly because I haven't got one yet mm. and the other two are carrying I want to cast minor illusion and make it look like I'm carrying one of these yeah, okay, you, yeah. All right, so a talisman appears in your hand. Which hand, the shield hand or the sword hand? 
So it's in my shield hand. So it, uh, I'm still holding the shield. You're holding the shield. But the talisman. Is... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, I can't create the flame. Mm. From the minor illusion, but I can create the talisman, so you can see the top of the um, sconce. The sconce. Mm. I got a seventeen. Occasionally, the mist clears above you again. You see this fleshy-like structure, still at the same height, a good few hundred feet above you. But there seems to be a hole in certain in certain places. A couple of places you see is a breakthrough of the flesh and beyond that you can see starlight starlight so we're 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 in like the center of we're almost inside one of these fleshy things like when we had all the starlight around us and we fought my name are we inside one of those fuck it it's like Star Wars. I'm Han Solo. I'm going to shoot. This isn't a fucking cave. Fucking fireball with a fleshy ceiling. All right, you shoot a fireball. It travels up. You just watch it as it ascends up to the ceiling. As it hits it, there's an instant reaction. It sort of retracts away from the area of impact, squirms, and you hear a, a scream from that area where you hit it as as you focus in you see a mouth open scream and then squirm and then squish back into the mass of squirming flesh the fuck as it returns back to well, that's pulsating rare. that's rare having nightmares tonight yep <laughs> I'm not sleeping tonight. As the mist starts to clear a little bit further, you can see that there is some kind of some kind of pillars just up ahead, either side of what looks like a track you're walking on. They rise up about thirty foot high. They have skulls on the top. The path continues past them, but what comes out of these? raised areas are, are thick chains which come down and link onto the sides which are closer to you and further out almost like a bridge well so the chains lead off and just fuck off into the distance they just they lead off so they come down from these pillars and and lead off either side of your path and then there's sets that come down go past you and link into these the edges of whatever you're traveling on what you also notice on these pillars is that fleshy material high above you is twisting around one of them on the right hand side and pulsing and with the flesh closer you can see that there are lots of black spheres within it. Teeth sort of twisting and turning and disappearing into the flesh and coming back out. Everyone knows things. And these little orbs are blinking. Yep, one of those things. Gibbering mouthers. Yeah. So we're in a room surrounded by gibbering mouths. Pretty much. By the sound. Well, it's one big giant gibbering mouth. Yeah, well, that doesn't fucking bode well for anything, really. But there's no. I mean, if we just keep walking in this, we're going to end up fucking fighting something, aren't we? Yep. <sighs> You've stopped then, you, you've not continued. Timmy's are looking at these little orbs blinking at me. Follow the chains? Yep, let's continue on. Just in case they try and get. How dare you, 
been I do apologize indoors all day doing fuck all. <laughs> hey, that's not my fault. Which I was you. Can you continue on the route? It's there's pretty much only one way to go, and that's straightforwards. Um, the mist stays as it is. Eventually, you come across something on the floor. Very nice. How are you feeling, Reggie? Good? Keeping strong? Fantastic. It's a hand. Severed from the body and clutching a third talisman. Oh, look, a real one to take the path of my fake one. <laughs> hey, look at that. Me. Marvellous. Fireball. Firebolt, what? And, he, and it blows up. Yeah. You had one, not anymore. No. <laughs> to, to light it. Yeah. Uh, that's why I went. And it, it strikes up like a flare. Bright red flame. And you will hold your talismans high as you walk through this well, area. Mine's still behind my shield because, you know. Yeah. So you're like. Strong. I'm guessing yeah. at any moment now we might get an airstrike. Or care package. Fire mm. bolt, fire bolt, fire bolt. You keep walking. The, the body is nowhere in sight. The this the is red, the body. The red mist starts to disperse slightly, and you can see further forwards now. Not a fan of this. And it sort of disperses either side of you, and you can see clearly that you're on some sort of pathway with a boundary either side spanning about 30 foot wide, right? And beyond that, you can see the flesh, fleshy sort of uh, material comes down and goes round and comes in like sort of a, a, a natural formation. More of these holes with the starlight that you can see coming through. Starlight and sort of a cosmic backdrop, right? The smoke you can see is rising up from either side of you. But that's it. Take me home, misty road, to that place. <laughs> What's your passive perceptions? Oh, fucking good. Oh, great. Ten. Eleven. All right. Okay. So, if you, kind of you don't see it coming. See what? No, you see something which which isn't so that. The, the environment that's been revealed to you left and right of the fleshy material and, and the uh, the backdrop of the cosmic sort of you know, setting. Something stands out and it's a, a straight a straight black line in the distance that crosses the horizon, not the horizon, the backdrop, right? You notice that, Gravel. Okay. What, is it just a pure normal black line? It's just a it's just a straight line, horizontal. A horizontal. Yeah. It's quite far off into the distance. Um I don't wanna just wanna wondering if it's just me, but do you not see a black horizontal line or am I just going crazy? Well, if you're asking me if you're going crazy, I'm going to say yes. If you're asking me if I see a black line in the distance, I'm going to say no. Okay. Because I can't see it, I didn't see it, and perhaps you're not seeing it either. Perhaps none of us are real. Hello. No, he's okay. All right. Oh. 
I'm just checking. It's getting a bit eerie down here. You um, you sort of shake it off. You like you don't know. You don't know what that is. So you just and you you focus back on on your route. When you say how far away is how far away is it? Um, talking like half a kilometer. Oh, fucking miles away. Mm. Or is it straight ahead, not like detour? Straight, straight ahead across your your vision. So if you were to look off to the left of the path you're on, mm. you can see this line going across. And if I go follow these lot straight. There's no line. No, so the mist closes in back on you. Closes in on you. If you if you look forwards again, so it's just a break in the mist to the left that you notice this. Um, I've seen this line. I can only suggest if we go towards it, as I don't see anything in front of us. Nor behind us. I can see Nis. Lead the way, Barney. And yeah, I've got to take the lead towards this black horizontal line. Mm. Yeah, so it doesn't cross your path, but you continue walking forwards because it's the only way you can go. And after a couple of a couple more minutes of walking, you notice up ahead some a shadow, two shadows. I'll probably get shadows in the mist. Mm. But I'll still get make myself ready and like do a, either a hand signal or something to inform the others to go prepare themselves well that day he was saying that there are shadows in the mist do they look like gorillas they look more humanoid than ape like ah so they're not gorillas in the mist okay. no but they might be potentially hostile Am I the only one that got that reference? No, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like I'm on my own. You, you look at these shadows, and they seem to be moving left and right, really swaying left. slightly. Swaying. Swaying. Yeah. They look humanoid. How far in front? Oh, not too far. About twenty feet ahead of you. In the Only thick 20 mist, feet. twenty feet ahead of you, mm. and the mist disperses slightly to reveal these figures. And there are two humanoid creatures. They look human. They're on their knees and they're sort of looking up to the sky and swaying. And as you look over them, their bodies are like damaged they've got bits of flesh mi missing they have these like a, what seems to be like a big growth out the side of their bodies with these black orbs blinking on it their faces they've got blood all down their chin down their neck and all they're wearing is a loincloth but they're just looking up to the sky swaying they're not even looking at you there's two of them Left and right. Mm. Well, are these the things that got you, Bar? Or are these a completely different kind of ghoulies, as you call as you Well, they have nothing to fucking do with these. They're damn skeleton things up the top. Well, fucking dumb, me. These, no, these are... These are brand spanking new. Don't, don't have a fucking Scooby Doo. Um, I can do something to see whether they're mildly intelligent. Um, if you wish. Well, let's go have. Let's go see if they are intelligent. 
Very well. And uh, I, I, I look at one of them. Uh, and uh, it would, without, would, I just want to see where they got a brain. Let's see. Brain. Brain. Yeah, I just want to see if they got a brain. And I wonder, um, terribly, if I could just uh, whisper in your ear. Did you know you look like a total sack of shit? Are you sure you did you did you know you look like a total sack of shit? You get back. Silence. Ah, you do have a brain. Marvelous. In that case, your mother was a fucking pile of shit, and your dad was a sack of shit, and that is how you were created by Carspicious Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Which one, left or right? I don't know. The one that replied. The one that replied, yeah. I'm assuming the left. Right, okay, so left. And what do I need to do for Vicious Mockery? Absolutely nothing. Uh, our wisdom saving throw. You just go and take it. Yeah, I wish. Um, I got a 10. Yeah, you failed. Fuck you. Take uh, seven points of psychic damage. Ooh. And you are now depressed. <laughs> With that, it screams in pain, points at you. <laughs> and then starts swaying again. Fuck! We know it. There's a. <laughs> There's a there's a shadow behind you behind them sorry not behind you fucking hell behind them that comes forward through the mist and it is one of like oh, no. let me just explain so it's like the cult the cultist that you killed with the bone commander mm. this one is different it seems to be wearing sort of gold like a golden mask and its stuff is is decorated uh, much more nicely. However, the body is sort of fused with this fleshy growth that you saw on the scene. That seems to be a part of this this land or this world that you're in, and it seems like it's merged with whatever this is. And there's there's almost like a tentacle going round her neck. And at the top of the tentacle are some teeth, which have fused with the jaw and like made, made her mouth like constantly dropped open. Um, and there are tentacles coming out of the bottom of her robe as well. And she stands there after being alerted by this creature. I say you must make a fortune in hentai. And she doesn't know. No comment. No comment. That's like bloody like tentacle trap jaw. <laughs> That's all it is, a tentacle trap jaw. And she just she just stands there. She doesn't do anything. Oh fuck him. I can't no. I wanna kill him. I do, I just wanna kill him all. You look terrible. Can I talk to her nicely? You know, as nice as Barama Ham is. And sort of give the, uh, bye. It's your female, right? Yeah. Cool. Bard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hello, young lady. Not too young, I hope. Although I'm still a young man myself. Yeah, she's got a decent bust, so. Oh, very nice. Yes, yes, well. My mother always taught me to treat a lady with respect. So here I am, just chatting to you. And, uh, Pleasure. Would you like some uh, something fishy for your squids? No. You are... Oh, sorry. Yes. You have not earned your place in this world. Well, please tell me what I must do to earn my place. You Especially must serve the dark one. Oh hell! No. I'm afraid I don't have a dark one. It's, it's very, very white. It's, 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 it's you know it's it's uh, small and inoffensive, but it does the job. Small but mighty. I have ascended. My power is tenfold. Ah, well, allow me to offer you what I can do to ascend uh, into you and tenfold. <laughs> 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 
Definitely a bard. Just looks at you confused. I'm even looking at you confused. I mean, is it is it possible to make your way into this and gain the ascension, perhaps a, a, another way? You have not served the dark one, I see all. I mean, if you turn around and bend over, you can show me your dark one. It's fine. No problem, I've been there before. I carry a lovely... Uh, uh, a, a lovely pot of solution with me that'll solve all of your problems. She continues to look at you confused and <laughs> raises her staff up. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh, sod this. And black energy swirl out from the ed- from the end of it towards you, impenetrating your mind. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. I bet you do. I'm actually all right at these, am I? No. <laughs> ah, I get. Hang on. I get advantage on wisdom saving throws. Thank you, medium. Thank you, being Mr. Bard. Eighteen. Because mm. I definitely would have failed on the first one. Would I think? <laughs> <laughs> yes, eighteen. What did um? So he did it to everyone. Oh, she attacked everyone. Yeah. Good to know. That is a seventeen for me, and that's with advantage. Seventeen with advantage. All right, you both make it. Yeah. So you take... Um, from that attack, you take three points of stress damage. Oh. Oh. So how does the 50% on that stress relief? Do, the, do these things work straight away? So that's after the eight points reduction. That's after the eight point reduction. Yeah. What it gives us eleven points of stress damage. Yeah. Bloody hell, those these eight points of reduction is fucking pointless. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Drop the talisman then. Yeah, fuck it. What a load of rubbish. Excuse me. I, I I know you just tried to penetrate me. I mean I was offering to try and penetrate you. Um I got to be honest with you, I'm, I'm although I'm a little bit cheesed off, I'm still quite attracted to you. Um would you mind making a wisdom saving throw of your own, please? Twenty. Bitch. <laughs> he lied. He fucked up. No. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> Never oh, I, I could do so much shit. Right. Oh no, wait, different person. Um, yeah. So. With well, this... Other than the fact of trying to cause us stress, she's just these weird flesh golem things. I mean, I, I haven't really got anything that I can bash all three of them with that uh, hurt enough to make it worthwhile. Instead of clouting them with my sword. Oh, shit. Mm. Uh, throw me in, throw me an insight. I mean, th- does this woman actually show up of mean us harm? Well, you look at her and she looks exactly like a cultist that you killed earlier, but... More garbed up. Yeah, pretty much. And either side of her are these grotesque human... They look like slaves or something, swaying and looking up towards the, the sky. Or the, the fleshy ceiling. Oh, very well. I'm going to... You can't rage. Uh, you, you, you know, I've got something that's... I, I consider it better than rage. I'm going to cast Enlarge. Mm. On no my and I'm going to, because she just tried to penetrate my brain and she's putting off my advances and I'm unhappy with her, so I'm going to hit her. Fucking. No. So I pull out my, my Holy Avenger. 
whilst enlarged. Oh, it's got a message. I pull out my holy avenger and I'm going to attack whilst enlarged. Um, somebody can share that because I'm assuming that is the. Uh, I'll wait for that to come up before I do the attacks. Because then we'll be rolling for initiative. Is this correct, Mr. Bossman? Let's roll for initiative. I love the fact that they're on their knees. That's amazing. <laughs> I was up chatting to her. I must have been closer than that. You were chatting from a distance, but we'll get you up. Yeah, nice and close. I wasn't chatting from a distance. I was whispering in her ear. Sweet. Oh, not. okay. I thought you were doing your sending stone. No, I was, I, I was in her ear. I was in her ear whispering. We'll say not. you guys are a little bit closer as well. All right. So let's roll for initiative. Oh, okay. I get my enlarge, I get my enlarge before initiative though, right? So my enemies have got fifteen on initiative, so if you get more than that, then you're going first. Uh, just my initiative, there it is. Well that's not me going first. You get that free attack though, so Cool. Go for the attack. <laughs> that sucks. Well that is uh that is a hang on, is this one? Double check. Now that's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's amazing. Right. So that is a dirty 20. Yep. To hit. Um, and then I throw the sword. Oh, that's pleasurable. So I get the 8 plus 7, 15, plus the 3 extra. You're enlarged, um, aren't you? So yeah. Yeah, hold on, hold on, now hold on. There's shit loads to do here. So I've got a oh, fucking hell. I've grown. Um, enlarged. I call upon giant, giant smile. <laughs> um, yeah, but it wouldn't be. I want to rub myself and make myself larger. Shield of faith. <laughs> right. So you take. You take, uh, 15, take 15 basic points, plus three points added for the Holy Avenger. You then take another D4 for me being big, which is another four. That's 19, so that's 23. Smack the bitch up. Being not undead, I'm assuming, because it's a thing, but is it fiend or... Unholy aberration. Unholy. Sweet as a nut. So I'll get my 2d10. Damn. Throw my 2d10. That's another 12. So that is 35 points of damage from one attack. As you swing in with this attack, one of these fleshy creatures suddenly reacts, jumps in front takes the full brunt of the attack. You slice it clean in half, killing it, but leaving the cultist untouched. Bitch. Fair enough. Right. Ray, what did you get on your initiative? I got 11. Okay, so you go after and you... I'm, us I'm using my inspiration to re-roll my initiative. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because it was not... Oh, fuck you! I actually... No. Um, 15. It's your dex mod? Plus one. Okay. Like me. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, so this little waving creature next to you lashes out at you. Just like a playable tube, man. <laughs> um, 
Oh, okay, right. That one for the first attack, as it just like <laughs> misses. Oh, and a two, so a six to hit, which totally misses. It's just pointless on its knees, doing absolutely nothing. Um, you say, are you all right, though, down down there, old chap? No, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, 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 I understand. I know my mother has the same problem. Straight after that, the cultist in front of you raises her staff and releases a blackened light for a nat 20. Oh, I haven't seen one of them in a while. As she casts Eldritch Blast on you. Ooh. In that case, point blank. In, in that yep. case, that's a ranged attack, so she rolls with disadvantage, right? She gets advantage, not advantage, she just gets a normal attack at five feet. And she does, oh, I rolled a, a D100, that was a two, <laughs> and that was a three, so five. Uh, so you take nine points of necrotic, no, sorry, force damage, and you are pushed ten feet back. What she chose that? Oh, oh she to. Um, right into Raynal. So just in front of Raynal. It's going to rain out slot between the legs. Oh, hello. Don't touch anything while you're down there. Hello. She then moves back slightly. And she does another Eldritch Blast. This time, focusing Ooh. it on gravel. Bitch! Bitch. For a... Uh, 15 to hit. Miss. Miss. Oh, cool. So it just totally misses. And then that's her turn over. Then that goes to... Oh, he's barring. Yeah. Cool. I thought, I thought that's what you guys were doing. Um, yeah, full size. Use all of my movement to catch up with the bitch. I yep. don't even care that I'm running past that puffy little guy that's waving. As you run past, you get some... No, you're still within five feet, actually. Don't worry about it. Cool. So I run straight out to the day, bitch, and I'm going to take two swings with my Holy Avenger. Okay. This is the, This is where it becomes fun. The first attack is a 19 to hit. That hits. Second attack is... Dirty 20 to hit. Both hit. Marvelous. We'll just work out these attacks first before I do anything else. Uh, that is... So the first one is going to do... <laughs> 20 points of damage. Okay. That's the first attack. The second attack... That's, this is without the detail, by the way. Yeah. The second attack... Does thirteen does sixteen points, so that's thirty six points of damage. Okay. And then the four D ten for it being unholy aberration is another twenty two points of damage. Yeah, the bitch. So that is fifty eight points. Impressive. So swinging into her, she's clearly in absolute pain and is dripping with blood, tentacles, flesh, <laughs> flying everywhere. Yeah, how are you actually doing? Are you doing that? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. I've got this bitch down. Uh, that is a uh, nineteen to hit again. Oh man. Oh, now you're talking. Now you're talking. 31 to hit. 
Natural 20. Yeah, I think that hits. Yeah. Fuck. 31 as a... <laughs> <laughs> so I will do the... Um, yeah. Oh, my God. I've got to try to do the maths. So that is 19 points. So I only get the 1d4. 1922. Yeah. That is 24 points of damage mm. just with the sword. Mm -hmm. That's the natural 20, so it's not that great. No, that isn't. No. Bad, bad roll. Bad, bad roll. Mm. Um, that is only 12 points uh, with... Oh, man, only 13 points with the second, with the, with the single attack. Mm. Um, now, this was a question. Yep. Do the D10s get double with a natural 20 as well? Yes, they do, yeah. Cool, so that is going to be 60 10s then. Uh, so six D10s, that's 43 points of... Yeah, this goose so got smited. That's 57, that's... 77 points of damage. And with that second swing, one minute she's there, the next minute she is turned to the red mist that surrounds you. Oh, but No, that's a good thing. Is it? Oh, okay, good. As you slice through her with such force, her <laughs> body explodes. Marvellous. <laughs> and this is a sword. And you call that a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> yeah, fuck. This creature just continues to sway next to you. Well, I do have. One second. Oh, I do have. I mean, I do have a couple of bonus actions that I can do, but what good are they? And um, plus, you are a war wizard. Yeah, well, no, because I can only do one attack if I cast a cantrip. So, really? Got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you use a cantrip as an action, you can make it one attack as a bonus action. Oh, shit. So, that doesn't work. But, um, I mean, do you need it? I mean, that last little weird thing disappeared piece of piss first time around. Really. So, yeah, no, fine. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'll leave the bonus action. Nothing to do. All right, Ray, that goes to you. Yeah, I'll go up to the geese. Uh, yeah, fine. And just clump. Can you hear the Tonight. Just continue like prodding him because I get to quarter stuff. Yeah. I wanna sex you up. Um, twenty-two to hit. Yeah, that hits. So that's nine points of bludgeoning damage. On the first hit. Okay. Go for the other hit. Oh, for an 11. Uh, 11 misses. Joy. Now we might turn. All right. So, as soon as that happens. This creature just swings at you wildly. Misses with its first slap and then a 14, does that hit? No, nope, that's a miss. A 14, he just slaps off your armor. Absolutely nothing. And then just continues swaying to the sky. And that's his turn. Reggie, it's your turn! Oh, yeah, I forgot about Reynold. <laughs> ah, do you know what? Just stand there and look pretty. Oh, 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 oh. It, it runs in, 
for a swing. Come on, let's go. Come Misses. On, and hits. For Yay! Reggie done it. 13 points of damage on the creature as he swings into it. Some of the eyes like split open, pus like fires out of it. Deck save. A deck save? No, I want to make a deck save. It just so it doesn't go on me. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Try Sorry, it, doesn't, me. it doesn't hit you. It just sprays on on him. And that that's the end of his turn. Then it goes to uh, Baramaham. Oh, well, do you know what Bramaham doesn't want to do? Just hit him with a sword. He wants to do something fun. But he can't. Clearly. Body splash! Yeah. Oh. I want to sit on him. There's no, there's no like movement from this creature it doesn't want to doesn't move it just continues whatever it's doing like some sort of praying action these guys speak a bit all right are we we're on a bridge yeah yeah cool all right i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use any of my attacks i'm not gonna just hit you with a sword it's kind of boring um, Gravel can kill him with his next strike anyway. I'm going to use Message, I'm going to talk a vessel. Uh, and I'm going to do that. If you truly wish to praise me, you'll jump off the bridge right now. Uh, roll a persuasion. So I should. Well, my persuasion is hefty. I'll take a 17. And it tries to stand up and it turns towards the edge of the bridge. But its leg snaps underneath it and it just drops to the floor in its position with the bones sticking out where it's just been on its knees constantly. It continues just to sway with bleeding. I, well, I've done my cantrip. Now I'm just going to do my bonus action. I'm going to use as an attack then. I tried to put it out of his misery easily. It didn't fucking want it. So stab it with my Holy Avenger. Oof. 14 to hit. Uh, that does hit, yeah. Well, that's all right then. So that's going to be... Uh, 13, I don't want to do the maths, 13, oh god, uh, 14, 17 uh, points, I'm assuming again I'm dead. Yeah it is, but with that 17 points... No, you... no overkill, overkill. Oh, Alright, fine, you can do the overkill. So with that, describe the kill. Yay! Um, well, after after using my can trip to kind of uh, make it easy for itself and get rid of it while it's still sand, sort of laying on the floor, swaying, I use my sword to stab through its chest, and while being large and fairly strong, uh, I sort of stand him up and like like a puppet walk him to the edge of the bridge and just slide him off the sword and watch him fall into the abyss. Oh. Like, in what way puppeting? Like. Uh, it oh, looks like he's walking, or like Thunderbird's puppet. I just, well, with my, with my sword through his chest, I'm literally just bouncing him over to the edge of the. Yeah, the, so Thunderbird's puppeteer. Yeah, and then I just slide him off and just push him off over the edge. Cool. And you just see the body just disappear into the mist. Still swaying. Swaying, yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Bye! Fucking stupid things. Way they were going, you think there was a breeze down here? No, it ends the combat. Au revoir, <laughs> farewell, I'll be the Zen for Say goodbye. No, fuck off. It's gone, they've disappeared into the red abyss. He fell and he's not coming back. What happened to that dirty bitch? You killed the bitch. Well, I hit her, she went pfft and disappeared. I'm sure she died. <laughs> yeah, so you're still on the bridge. 
She's lying ah. there. Ah. No, she's not. She does not exist. Just a bit, a little bit of a uh, cloth from her garments. Well, she didn't want fucking date me. She wouldn't show me a black hole. So uh, let's continue. Let's continue across the bridge until we find something useful, I suppose. Well, you know, I still see the black horizontal line. Can you still see it? Yeah. Oh, perception. Go. Oh. What black line are you talking about, man? I can't see a damn thing. Um, 18. Hmm. Yeah, you can see it just about as the mist clears again to your left momentarily. So it's not straight, it's now left. Well, it was always to the left. It's always it was always off to the side, but we couldn't get there because we're walking. We've got one path, and our path is forward. We've never been able to walk towards the black line. Okay. If I can't go towards the black line, we'll just continue then. You continue walking, and it's going to end up anywhere. It's completely uneventful. The mist is the same, nothing changes. You eventually get to what looks like some kind of gate. Um, it is a semicircle, sort of this metal, this dark, dark metal. And to open it, you have to, there's like sort of daggers that go in, which close the gate, and they have to be pulled out. To, to give yourself passage through this gate and it goes into like this pulsing fleshy wall which just ascends up is the wall getting more pulsy and fleshy it's all the same it's constantly squirming moving eyes are coming out of nowhere blinking teeth mouths everything it's just like tentacles squirming and constantly moving is it if you have to physically move these circled daggers or is it like a lever to open this mechanism well it's investigation Hey, isn't that 20? Oh, good. Yeah. Um, the obvious way is to pull each one out at a time. However, you notice that there is some kind of latch behind it. With, and with a flick of that, they all just open. Well, that was easier said than done. It was easier done than said, I'll be honest with you. Hmm. True. Now let's prepare what the fuck's going to come out. Well, if it doesn't look like my nan, we're going to be all right. Should be fine. Not a problem. Well, it might be your that potential girlfriend that rejected you. If, no, she, she she's already gone. She disappeared. She, she wasn't interested in my advances. Reminds me of my first girlfriend. Mrs. Norris, yes, I remember her. Turned me down, wasn't interested after I gave her a youth. Heartbreaking. So did I hear that. Yes, I met a talking sheep, you know. <laughs> Is that why you, they call you Bar? No, I was called Bar before that because uh, most of the uh, the butlers that, that we had around the uh, around the manor were unable to say my name, so it was much easier for them to just call me Bar. Fair so One of my favourites, he used to call me Ban Hamadam. <laughs> oh, 
saying. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Oh dear. Well, I, you've opened the door. Yeah. Reggie. Off you go. There is Reggie. Is he still he's, he's with you. He's still with you. Yes, well, we gave him one of these flicky things. And the agreement was that he goes first. So, yeah. Job, job, Reggie. He he goes in. He, yeah, he he walks. Are you gonna follow him? Screams in agony, and we kind of go. Well, that's bye. <laughs> Off you go. No, no such luck. Still with us? Yeah, he's he's fine. You can you walk in. Well, all right then. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. You walk in and the stone, it's just a, a small sort of room, if you can call it that, an open area within this fleshy thing squirming around you. In front of you, the floor is replaced with flesh and there are three options left right or straight on all of them are like fleshy tunnels this is turning into some fucking silent hill bullshit okay I don't that's all i'm gonna call it out this silent hill bullshit yeah, it's just as you're standing there it's just sort of squirming and Scratching. I mean, I could say it reminds me of something, but I'm not going to say what. True, we might get demonetized. <laughs> well, stop looking at me, fuck. You put me in the air. I didn't intend to have the message. Oh, dear. Well, other than there's only one. Oh, there's only one real option, isn't there? You go down the middle, I'll go left, Richie can go right. Oh, hell no, we're not split up the party. Oh, oh one. No. Don't split the party. Let's have a try. Alright, I roll a six sided <laughs> die. One, two, left, three and four, middle, five, six. Yep. Right. Flip a coin. I got a five, so now I'll be the right. Yeah, right. All right. Who's going first? Before we start walking down there. Reggie. Reggie's going first. Before we start walking down there, um, because I've got it, I just throw a firebolt down there. The full, the, the full 120 feet of its thing, just shoot it all the way down there, just a straight line. All right, you shoot it down, it lights up the tunnel, but the tunnel bends round to the left. So it hits the wall. It hits the wall. The fleshy, whatever it is, starts to react and like instantly reacts and retracts away from the, the point of impact and squeals and you hear abnormal noises it doesn't like fire excellent well, i'm fucked with the fire with the with with the fire of the thing right because these things are still lit right our our, our, our consies they're but, constantly lit yeah right can i just use the flame of it and just lean it up against the like the the flesh of this wall to see what it does yeah so you lean it against the wall, put it against the wall, and the flesh reacts. It starts to burn the flesh, and it sort of tries to stretch away from that area. And that's what it does. It really doesn't like fire. It is very fleshy, like, like human flesh. Yeah. So, you know. And it's moving. So. Well, we're going down the right. That's where that's where old uh, Bam Bam has told us we're going. So, who's going first? Reggie. Reggie. Right. 
That was it. That was a deal when I gave him the. It was. Yeah. He so as, with each step, the fleshy ground beneath your feet sort of tries to squirm away. You can see veins like pushing fluid away from the point of impact. Um, these eyes are constantly surrounding you. Growths like almost like tumorous growths hanging from the ceilings. And the eyes are like blinking, not in um, unison, but like odd, like randomly blinking. Constantly. If they get too close, I'll be just like swing my core stuff out of the fucking way. Yeah, they're just in the wall, and this tunnel it, it goes on for a while, and you get you get a little way down, and you see something protruding from the wall on the right hand side and it looks like an arm lovely so I'm assuming this has absorbed something and sucked me into the wall pardon me <laughs> what does Reggie do because he's in front he Reg hasn't noticed it Reggie does fuck all Reggie's useless has he, got, useless. has he got any arms? Is it skeletal? Is there a ring on it? Is there a... Anyone? What you can see is the flesh is covering this 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 protrusion. No. Almost like a, uh, a tumour, like the, what's hanging from the ceiling. But then there's an arm that's stretched out of it, like a hand-like, sort of like slightly mangled in a claw-like position like that. It's frozen. Anything on it? A ring, you know, a bracelet? No. Okay. I sort of grab onto the end of the thing and I go, How do you do? <laughs> the flesh reacts <clears throat> and moves and molds. And the the hand almost like goes up and down like he's shaking and it levels its, its stuff. Don't fucking like it in here. We should have gone the other fucking way. We'll probably find the other creepy shit in the other tunnels. I don't like it. No, not this other way. Like, why the fuck did we come down here? <laughs> Should have just fucking left. Remember, the DM will find something else to go screw us with the creeps. That's his genre. We are lost in the it middle of fucking nowhere. I've got weird hands and fleshy things. Stop looking at me, Pope. <laughs> are you going to continue walking? How far down into the, into this one are we? Um, well, you can still wear. You can still see if you look back where you entered. It's it's not too far. You're probably about sixty feet in. Well, we'll go. We we'll at least have a look around the corner of where it bends, where the scorch marks are from your fireball. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if this is sentient. Yes, I use that word. Thank you. Hmm. I wonder if it's sentient. Just as you go around the corner. You come to another one of those gates. You already know how to open it. You find the latch and it opens. Beyond the gate, you can see is a bridge, just like the one you were walking on before. Oh, heavens. Have we gone about in circles? Wish I fucking knew. Well, only one way to find out is to turn around and go back and try another entrance, isn't it? <clears throat> Shall we? Sure. Which I let you decide. 
on the next one. Let's, let's, let's so straight ahead or let's do it. Well let's walk right. back. let's walk back first. Just to see whether anything has changed. Because this is this is flesh and it's moving and moulding. It hasn't Exactly. Mm. But I wish one one thing I wanted to do, because I wanted to find out whether this was the sentient being. I wanted to know wherever it could feel. So let's try something. With the with the ability with with my cantrip abilities, I'm gonna try both of them and see which one gets a bigger reaction. So these eyes that keep sort of popping up and looking at me. Right? Because obviously I, I can't focus on a head or a brain or anything. So mm. we'll use an eye. So I'm gonna I'm gonna with my little stone and the ability to send messages, I'm sort of gonna look at the eye. And I'm just going to go, are oh, you just fucking with us? Or, you know, if you wish us to leave, just tell me. What language are you doing this in? Well, I'm going to have to try it in Abyssal because it ain't going to speak common or Elvish. Um... You don't get anything back. Very well. So it won't reply to me. Then I will use my other cantrip and go. Well, so you're not just fucking ugly. You're stupid as well. <laughs> <laughs> I cast vicious mockery on it. All right. So this is where I find out if it if it has to make a wisdom saving throw, it must be sentient. Hmm. If it shows pain from the vicious mockery, it must be sentient. If it doesn't, then it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't show pain from the vicious mockery. Just there's no reaction whatsoever. So it's not. It's not. It, it, it's not sentient. But it feels pain. Very odd. Oh, it doesn't like fire. Yeah, but lots of things don't like fire. Yeah, like fungus. Mm, you're not going to eat a mushroom. Oh, lovely. My mother did always say that I was a fun guy. Come! <sighs> Don't worry, Bam Bam. Let's go. <laughs> so you're heading back? Yeah, we're yeah. going to go back to that the triple header thing. If we are able to. Yeah, you, you walk back, uh, squelching through the flesh. This time you notice the hand is almost on the floor. Yeah, so he's moving. Okay. <laughs> and you continue on. You get back to your original position. And all of that looks the same. It doesn't look like it's all moved. It's the same. Behind you is the gate with the bridge. Okay. It. I got an ippy dippy as to death, I tell you. If that's what you want to go do, do it. You want to go do ip dip dog shit? Yes, well, ip dip, ip dip, dog shit, fucking mouth and silly git. You are not it left. Go. Cool. Away, Reginald! All right. I love the fact that all these NPCs never correct me with their names. No, they're fine with it. <laughs> you, I just think the DM doesn't want to play the game. Again, you keep you keep walking through this fleshy ground, this fleshy tunnel. There's no hands sticking out the wall. There's still sort of growths and just strange things, eyeballs still blinking, teeth. And again, just like the other tunnel, you come to a gate. The same gate. Aha! Pow! And then I remember he's got a little lock on it, so I open it. Yeah, and it opens up to reveal 
bridge. Is it the? <laughs> Is there, is, is there, is there, if we look out on the bridge, can we see a torso chopped in half? No. Okay. That is, There's a different bridge. It's not the same bridge. That's fine. But are they all the same bridge? Right. Bear, bear got an idea. No, got an idea. Got an idea. Right. By this door, I'm going to put, right. <laughs> I'm going to put something on the floor. Right, by this door. Right, by the bridge. Put something on the floor. All right, what are you going to put it on the floor? I don't know, a coin, a couple of coins, or I draw, I draw a picture on the floor with my sword. Just something to mark it. Mm. X marks the spot. Bar was here. Right, and I'm assuming you put the coin on the stone floor of the bridge rather than the flesh. Yes. Right. Yes, the other side of the door. Yeah. Not this side, the other side of the door. Yeah, yeah. And where are you going to go from here? We're going to go back and go straight. Right, okay. So you go back to the junction, uneventful again, and you go through the centre. It gets darker as you get further into this tunnel. It doesn't bend at all. You've got the light dim red light from your entrance. Eventually you come to another open area. Slightly opens up, it's still fleshy, it's like a fleshy chamber, but this time some obsidian carvings of human skulls with their mouths open, flesh pouring out of it, either side of you two more tunnels to the right and the left mate what dungeon crawl one tunnel directly between the two heads above you is just an open area it's open you look up and it's just you just look straight up into the cosmos what I'm looking up at nothing but stars. Yeah, like you're in space. I'm baffled. Absolutely baffled. We started off fighting skeletons in a castle. And now we're in space. <laughs> I'd only dreamed of such a thing. How the fuck did we go up when all we did was walk down? Dick. What was that? The DM's a dick. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I know. Let's well, open to discussion. So you got every deity it, is a dick. You got three more options. You can continue going straight. I've got the best option. <laughs> right. Or there's left Somewhere. or right. Fucking just. I don't, I don't even know. Like, it just. I don't even know. This is a massive dungeon crawl. Yeah, I know. It's not what I was expecting at all. Especially for just two, two players. <laughs> That's why we still got Reggie. Okay, two players and an NPC. <laughs> yeah, not a useful NPC. Um, he's been really useful. I he think... has been, actually. What? He's healed you and he stress healed you in the past. Not Got rid of diseases. He's done jack shit to me. Like, fuck He off. healed you. He, he gave you a, a massive heal, I think, in one battle. Yeah. And you were like, oh. I mean, oh, first now. When we first met him, or yeah. met you, Bar, you were bad as shit. He's not needed to to step in with his healing abilities Damn since. Useless piece of shit. <laughs> I don't even know. Like I don't even fucking. I bring out my looking glass and just sort of look up into the sky. By looking into the cosmos, right? Being being 
relatively well educated, right? Which is Bramham's background. Is does he recognise the stars? Are they the stars that he would see above him at night? Does it does it match, or is it completely fucking? Give me an intelligence roll. Just straight intelligence, yeah. Intelligence. Intelligence plus my modifier. Dirty twenty. That was lucky. Mm. You look up with your looking glass, yeah? Sure. You look around and you try and map any sort of constellations and try and relate them to what you know and what you've studied in the past. And nothing, nothing matches anything. I'm looking at a completely different star system. Yes, you know you're looking at a completely different star system or from a completely different perspective because the density of stars is much greater. So it's a completely different plane of existence. What you do notice as well, as you're scanning the sky, is there is another spherical body. And it's not too far away. Um, as planets go. Okay. And you can see that it is a slight sort of purpley pink colour. As you lower your looking glass, you look around at the flesh that surrounds you. And it's the same colour as the flesh. Oh, shit! So, whatever they're planning is up there. The, this one, this one. Come. Bam, bam, come here, look. look. Yes. See that little planet right there, and I put the looking glass to his eye. Okay. See that little planet right there. Now, it's pink and purpley, right? The same yes. color as this. So, that planet is the same as all this shit that's under our feet. And so what, they're trying to take over? Well, from what, I, from what I can... I'm taking a stab in the dark. I'm assuming that this stuff is going to grow and spread and eventually uh, consume what whatever the name of the planet is that we're on. Dave's planet. Cool. Dave... So me and me and Ray got killed by a skeleton called Dave the other night. Did yeah. you? Pretty much. Well, I, we'll tell you that after the fucking. All right. Um, yeah. Um, what the fuck? Yeah. So uh, from what I can gather, with the eyes of shame, um, yeah, this stuff is going to grow. It's going to uh, absorb and squish our planet unless we stop it at its source. Kill it. Okay. So, Where do you think the source is? Well, the further we go in, the more this seems to be there. Okay. So let's keep going straight. Okay. You step between the two obsidian heads and make your way into the fleshy tunnel. And that's where we're going to leave it. Of course we are. 